Hey everyone, welcome back. It's uh, Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern. That means it's stream time. Joining us, as always, but for the first time in the last couple of weeks, Will Crosby. How you doing, buddy? Hey, you know what? You said no bits, and I'm respecting your decision. Oh, man. Bits is like a word that is... I, I, I want to say it's 10% dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. You know, like my favorite thing you've ever said. Don't show me your dirty bits, your naughty bits. <laughs> but it's only 10% of the time, you know, whereas something like moist, moist is like a 50% dirty, I want to say. The table is moist. Yeah. Whereas like nude, nude is 100% dirty. You're nude. Anyways, speaking of nude, we're playing uh, some space engineers. So, Will, what have you been doing in this game? Uh, you know, I logged on today, and I mm -hmm. went and sat in this cryo thing, because I figured it'd be cool to pop out of that. And I didn't explore, because I wanted you to show me on stream, because I, I shouldn't say I hate this game. I say that to annoy Zach, but I just have not spent the time to get into it. So, it it's not that I don't think this game is good, it's just I don't want to commit time to then commit more time to playing it. I mean, hey, if I get to say that uh, Terraria is a bad game then you get to say this is a bad game. Yeah, but I don't, I, Terraria is a bad game that I enjoy playing. I knew it. It is a bad game, but I knew it. This is a, this is a okay game. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't want to take, I'm already learning Dwarf Fortress. I don't need to learn this game too. Uh, sorry, I'm a little distracted. I'm just trying to get my audio levels. Uh, it's weird because I, I have to change my audio levels, especially for iRacing. So bouncing between streams, I have to change my audio levels all the time. Yeah, anyway, you stream so much. Okay, so let me show you. So I don't know if you saw. Did you see my drill pit over here? No. Let me come see. Where how I am. do you, how do you how do you get up there? X. Oh. Yeah. So basically, Whoa. I had a drill going here. It went 750 meters down, and um, that was the max that the the system would allow me to go. It literally said you cannot place any more drills. Or any more pistons. So nice. that mined a lot of stuff. Uh, Zach rebuilt uh, the base and added a bunch of these wind turbines. Wait, where's my original mine? Um, Somewhere over here. Where was the Oh, ship no, we're on over... top of it. Oh, are we? We covered it up? I think we are, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. Uh, um, that makes me feel a little bit good. So then Will... I mean, Zach built this big spaceship... I, no, I was expecting a lot more. Well, so the problem is I actually built like probably five or six spaceships and I was building them from blueprints, which are basically like Steam Workshop mods where you get a blueprint and then you have to build it based off somebody else's design. And they were all crap. I was very surprised by it. So I kept yeah. crashing them because they were crap. Um, oh no, my fuel is low. So then I would, um, I built these, these little tiny goobers. One of them's a welder, one of them's a little miner. But then let me show you, I don't want to call, this is probably my triumph. Okay, so follow me. So these pipes are basically conveyor ow, pipes. Ow, Are you Why is my health critically low? Are you, are you, what are you doing? I walked in front of this miner. Yeah, that that's a welding tip, it's on. Why is it on? This joke is old already. Um, I, I, what do you mean it's old? I just walked in front of like, it. It's the third episode I've having to explain how the game works to you. You put together items with a welder in your hand, but if you build a spaceship that has a giant welder on the front of it, then it does it faster. Right, so, but it's just on all the time and hurts people? Yeah, just don't go near it. Okay. That's crazy. I all right, follow me. Help. Follow me. I can't. Oh, I have no fuel, so I gotta run. Well, we'll get more fuel. Where do I get fuel? Oh my god. Your stupidity just killed me. Where would I get fuel? How am I supposed to know? Why have you not been playing this game? Because it's terrible and I don't like it. Oh my goodness. All right. Do I go to the cryo thing? Is that where I get fuel? No, just go to any any port and you're going to... Um... Here, give me a second. First of all, you got to start following me instead of dicking around. PG-13. Where? That's PG-13. Okay, where are you? I'm in my cryo chamber because you were yelling at me. Good. Okay. All right. Come over here. Okay. You see this? Okay. Press Little K. Keypad? Press K. 
On the keypad? Either of them. Press K. Okay. On the right-hand side of the screen, click the box. 3D cube. Now search have... in there, the right-hand side of your screen. Okay. Under, in, search in top, here. Fuel? Top, click inventory. No, you're going to type in hydrogen. Oh, inventory. Inventory. Hydrogen. Okay, found it. Now you're going to see hydrogen bottles. Grab three yep. of those and drag them to your inventory on the left. While I'm in here, I'm going to make oh. some more hydrogen bottles. Oh. There's only three in here. That that should be enough. So because as long as those are in your inventory, you've basically just expanded your fuel by like tenfold. Okay, my fuel still says zero though. Are they in are are they in in your inventory? Oh, you know what? I might have. Uh, oh, come on. oh, I. I'm so happy that nobody is watching right now. What is this game? Speaking of which, I should make sure that the tweet went out. It did, I saw it. Okay, now I'm good. Okay, all right, so now you have a lot more- You, you, you must, you have to admit that these systems could be simplified. Yes, but this is, this is, a, this is an episode one or an episode two complaint. We're now at episode three. We should be past that. I played, how many of these episodes have I played? One. It, and I, how much have I played outside of that? Zero. How many, how many have I played? Two. But that's, I mean, that's your fault. That's like, that's prep. I 100% I agree. Okay, so now follow me. This is, so follow. the problem was we needed ice because you turn ice into hydrogen and oxygen because it's basically just solid H2O. Um, we needed hydrogen. So we needed a lot of ice mining. So I built this conveyor system, which is how you transport items. I built it all the way over here. Whoa. Oh, the server's lagging because it's loaded in. Yeah. That's base, so cool. So basically what this is, is these are pistons and then there's vertical pistons as well. So you can already see that I've done, I only had to do like three strip mines and we got a whole bunch of ice from it, which got us hydrogen. That's so cool. And it's all on a rotor so I can rotate it. And basically if I really needed to, I don't need to. Hi Arcane. Uh, What's up, I, Arcane? I'm not going to say you're nobody. It's just that the way we see viewer counts while we're streaming is almost always inaccurate. So it said zero when you're actually here. Um, so what this system lets me do is if I really wanted to, I could mine the top eight meters of the surface in... I wouldn't do a 360-degree circle. I would probably do like a 270-degree circle. That's so, cool, though. Yeah. Um, so then, if you follow me back to base we decided that the next thing is it's time to go to space. Because the thing about being on a planet is that you don't have all resources and you're also stuck at the bottom of a gravity well. So you have to spend so much energy just to get off the planet. When, when you're in space, you have a lot more conservation of energy. So I think what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna build a little seat to go onto this. Can I fly this ship? Uh, yeah, but don't don't fly it yet. I think it'd be better if I take you on my ship first. Oh, okay. Okay. John Flea? Uh, John is our clan, so that gets tagged automatically. Flea is what I called this because it's it's a very it light... Like a flea. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a hopper. All it does is it just jumps into space. Hold me closer. That's, uh, that's Zax. Yeah, that makes sense. It's creepy okay, so just, to be real. Let me just build you this real quick. This is your seat, your passenger seat. Oh, Arcane Skies, thank you. Thanks for loving our snow and sadness. We'll have to pass that on to Jake. Um, Jake's not here right now, but he, he does all those, those He's in a better videos. place. Yeah, he's dead. We killed him. <laughs> we killed him after the video. <laughs> Great okay, job, Jake. So, real quick before we go, though, I just need to check the inventory of this ship because since we're going up, I might as well take some stuff with us. Smart, smart, smart. It's like every time you go up the stairs in your house, you should always bring something up or bring something down. That's 100%. Um, so, let me just look at our inventory real quick. I think I want to take all these thruster components. Do it. Which is, you know what? I should have done this from the 
So this so the game amount is... of work you guys have done, mm -hmm. I wanted it to look better. Well, it's not. For me, I've been playing this a lot more than Zach, and for me, it's a lot of experimentation. So I want to say, like, at least 75% of the stuff I've built has been destroyed or dismembered. Okay. Either because I, I just messed thinking... up and it crashed, or it wasn't good, and I'm salvaging supplies. So I, I hear you, but, like, yeah. some of the stuff, like the ice drill, is, like... That thing's sweet. I will, I will, I will yeah. be honest. Well, I just meant in, like, Sky Factory, after this many hours, we, there was a lot to show for it. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, but I think part but of it is should... if you know what you're doing in Sky Factory, and you guys you guys knew what you were doing. That's true. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just taking a little bit more items. I I think that's kind of all I need. Lots of ice. Okay. So basically, this this game once you get into the mechanics of it is bonkers. So I'm going to turn on my atmospheric thrusters. I'm also going to undock here. Are you ready to go to space? Oh. Oh. This is spooky <laughs> up here. You're just hanging on, aren't you? I don't like that. I feel like this is what we do in Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> My dampeners are off. Should I turn them on? Um, You should turn them off. Oh, they are off. We're good. Yeah. Basically, what the dampeners do is they, if you're flying in a direction, your dampener's on, and you let off the throttle, they will bring you to zero. What, so, what do you think will happen if I hit F frame? Uh, you would you would start falling behind. I would not recommend doing that. Yeah, I won't. Um, and if I turn my dampeners on, it would affect your flight probably, right? No, I don't think it would because you're in a passenger seat. But I would just... Oh, I can't even turn them on. Okay. All right, that's off. But I need Is this to... whole planet we're leaving? Yeah, we're leaving the whole planet. Like, you can go around to the other side? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Wait, you didn't done. dig through the core of the planet? You can't, like, fall through to the other side? You could. I was thinking about doing that, but the problem was... So my drill rig was, like, my, my ice drill rig, where I had a bunch of pistons. So you build it, and then you extend all the pistons. The game literally said max pistons. I couldn't, I couldn't build anymore. Oh, that's crazy. Like, it prevented me from building anymore. What's Alpha Base? Is that, that on an is, asteroid? Yes, that is my asteroid base. It is, it's in orbit just because the, well, there's no orbit in this game, but where it is, there's, there's, no orbit. there's still technically 0.1 G, but that's fine. That's probably good there is no orbit, because that would probably suck. Yeah, I, I think it would. It would you be much harder. time everything. Whoa, look at that planet. That's us. That's so cool. I overshot this slightly. What's that giant thing in front of the sun? Uh, one second. I'm, I'm trying to maneuver here. It looks like Santa. You're still alive, right? Yeah. Is it Santa? Honestly, pretty surprised by that. That must be Santa. In front of the moon? Something I was having trouble with until I looked it up was the thrusters actually do have a damage zone behind them which is kind of self-explanatory, but I didn't realize it. So I would I would be flying around, and my thrusters were just, like, throwing their thrust against my own spacecraft and slowly damaging stuff. That's until things... great. And, and for a while, I didn't realize it was that because I was not landing properly, so I was just kind of bashing into things. And I was like, oh, it's just me that's damaging it. <laughs> okay, so I overshot this base, but I think we're going to be okay. We're coming back to it. So this is why I call it Flea. It's a very small ship that just lets me get up into space. Nothing it's a good spaceship cool. name, to be honest. Oh, oh, that. How are we doing? We throw up. It's just a. Uh... Oh no! Are we gonna crash? Oh, please don't kill me. That was a little close. It's, it's is that hard. a giant thing of iron over there? Uh, no, I think that's nickel. So Whoa. that's the thing is these asteroids are a little bit easier to mine, especially once you get a proper mining ship going because you can just see everything. And then I know you can't see the stream, but I also figured out cameras. So I have a downward facing camera. So all I have to do Ooh. is switch to that. And then it's I, like Outer Wilds. Yeah, exactly. And then I drop down. And as soon as I'm within docking range, boom, we are now docked. So now we can get out here. This is Alpha Base. 
Yeah, so there is point one, point 0.1 G here. So I have a nuclear reactor down here from uranium I found in orbit. Um, I have a battery here. Let's see what this battery is doing. The battery is... It's not bad. Let me turn the reactor on. Yeah, so if you fly around the asteroid, you can see there's just like giant, like pure iron deposit and stuff. Whoa, there's an inside. Yeah. So it, it makes it, it's easier to mine in space. Because the other thing is you're not fighting against gravity all the time. You just got to point yourself in a direction and go. And then break. Awesome. Okay. I think I am going to, real quick, I'm going to drop some ice in here. So our mission today, do you know what our mission today is? Uh, what? We need to get to the moon. Oh, we're not on the moon? No, we're on an asteroid. So I Wait, do you see Santa? In front of the planet? Yeah. Oh, I guess that is Santa. I was wondering what that was. It's Santa, right? I'm not crazy. Is, yeah. Okay, so if you look back towards the planet and then slightly up, you see the moon in the distance. The white thing? Yeah, the big white circle. Yeah, That's let's where go. we're going. I believe it's it's probably about 40,000, 40 kilometers away. Are going on your fleet? Yes, but first I need to fuel it up. Let's see. Yo, I'm pumped. It's getting there. K to open ship control panel. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm filling up the hydrogen tank. But the it's other nice thing I need that. to do is... Um, how many hydrogen bottles do you have? I have three. Okay, I think we need to carry about ten each. So do we have to go back to Earth? No, I'm, I have a manufacturing here. So the crazy thing is the hydrogen bottles are actually great. So if we get stranded, we can just fly to where we need to go. As long as we have enough hydrogen with us. Uh -huh. So I'm making a bunch of hydrogen bottles for us. Um, so that's going. The other thing I think we need to do is we need to switch out the... Um, some of the thrusters on this for ion thrusters. So ion thrusters run off of energy, electricity, instead of hydrogen. So that way it's more fuel efficient in space. I'm worried that we're going to go to the moon and we won't have enough fuel to get there and get back. Gotcha. So I'm going to put some ion thrusters on real quick, which are, I don't want to call them late game because they're not really late game. It's just that we didn't really have enough of the resources until recently. Oh, how do we fill up the hydrogen bottles? Um, if you drag in the inventory, if you drag them to the hydrogen tank, but don't do the flea hydrogen tank to the, the other one. Does that make sense? Like if you place them in the yes, inventory yeah, yeah, of the yeah. item. So I have yeah, to place yeah. them in my inventory first. One, two, oh, three. Oh, you know what I need to do? Turn off the hydrogen engine. Okay. Oh. I thought I had such a tiny inventory and then I realized it was just not showing the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. I have 10 bottles. And then I put them in the hydrogen tank. Yeah, in the hydrogen tank inventory, and that should fill them, like, immediately. Oh, that might be the wrong hydrogen tank. O2H2 generate. If you search T tank. Oh, search it. Hydro. Yeah, the hydrogen tank in the flea, and then there's the other hydrogen tank, but putting stuff in there. Yeah, don't put it in the flea. Right, but putting it in the other one doesn't seem to do anything for me. Okay, all right, give me a second. Let me come look at it. What? Could be my ignorance. 
I'm just, uh... You know, I'm not sure if I should have those there. Sorry, one second. I'm just placing stuff. And then you come back and build it. There, there are some things I don't like about this game, like how... So you, you have to... So, like, you know in Minecraft you have to craft items? Yeah. So, let's say you craft a workbench, and then you pick up the workbench. You now have a workbench in your inventory, right? Mm-hmm. So in this game, you place a skeleton for the workbench. You then have to go get the supplies and come back and build the workbench in place. But then if you want to move the workbench, you have to break it down back into its components and rebuild it elsewhere. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, it makes it it makes it pretty annoying. Okay, so let me see. So hydrogen tank. Well, let me see if the hydrogen tank has anything in it. Oh, okay. Did that do anything for you? Oh, yeah. it's at 100. Yeah, there was a setting that had to be checked. So if you could grab all the hydrogen bottles and do that, because I think we're going to need 13 each. If you have three and I have three and I just built 20, then we should be good. Okay, all right. So I'm just getting this guy going. Okay. That's that direction. One, two, three, four. What is this direction going to be? Steel. Oh, it fills them in the O2H2 generator. Uh, yeah, because it's on and doing ice right now. Gotcha. So if that wasn't on, then you wouldn't be getting anything from it. Okay, so I have 13. Second, I am trying to. That's, why in God's name did they do seven across? Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of UX, UI questions about this game. Gosh, that was a dumb idea. At least do five. Six would have been better than seven. Yeah. Even eight, there's enough margin space. Okay, all right. I'm getting here. Okay, I'm just adding thrusters to this guy so that we can now properly steer it using these ion thrusters. Can we go to that other planet? I, I don't think so because we're not going to make it. Gotcha. But wouldn't your like inertia carry you there? Yeah, but then, but then the, I think it would take too long. I think it's like five hours at max. There is a speed Oh limit. my goodness. Yeah. Gotcha. Just curious. So you could, theoretically. Yes, but speed limit makes it that you don't want yeah. to. I just meant it's not like you're gonna fly into a skybox and that's where it is. There's actually a planet over there. Yes, there is a planet over there. That's neat. Okay. Almost done. I this think- This looks good. The one last thing I wanted to do was I wanted to build an H2O2 generator on this. So Smart. that way, if we get stuck somewhere, all we have to do is find ice. And then we can refuel. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right, so now I'm just constructing all this stuff. This is, um, I, I'm actually, it's, I think it's a testament to this game that I have gotten beyond all the wonky UI decisions to continue yeah. playing it. And wonky design decisions, like, you know, having to destroy everything just to, um, just to move something, which is quite frankly infuriating. 
Yeah, that sounds really annoying. Okay, I need more. St okay, do you want to get steel plate and a display going? I'm going to read off stuff that I need to you. Steel plate and a display, what does that mean? If you go to the control oh, to the panel thing. and you go to the production and the assembler, I need one display and 10 steel plate. Okay, they're going. Perfect. I thought I had... It disappeared, though. What do you mean? It was in the inventory, and then it's, now it's not there anymore. Well, that's fine, as long as it made it. Because the inventories are all shared, and I don't fully understand it, but uh, it does okay. weird stuff between them. Pretty. No, wait, this should go. There we go. Okay. Um, this game, uh, it took me a while to realize the shortcuts, but so it does have some stuff where like if you're building an item and you don't have everything you need, you basically right click it and that will add that to like a, uh, they call it the build planner, which is just like an ingredients list. Mm -hmm. can, can you build a hundred or just build like 200 steel plates? Um, oh, yeah. I and then you, said 10. no, I know, I know, but I've got more stuff going. And then you go to one of the inventory panels or whatever, and you do, I think it's middle mouse click on it, and it automatically mm -hmm. withdraws everything that's in your planner. So you can quickly like go up to an item and be like, tell me what I don't need, and then go to it and click again, and it'll grab everything that you didn't have before. So they at least have shortcuts. Okay, let's see. Okay, good news is I don't think... My worry was that we were either... I don't want to say stranded, but I didn't want to get to a point where we needed to go find a bunch of ingredients. I don't think we're going to get there. I think we just have to make them. Sweet. But I, I do get the feeling that I think most people play this game non-survival. Because a lot of the stuff I'm seeing in the workshop are like giant ships, like Star Destroyers and stuff. Yeah, I, I remember back when Zach and I played, when this first came out, that's all we did was like spawn giant ships and crash them into each other. Yeah, which which I think is fun, but uh, it took me, there's definitely a learning curve and like a unfriendly UI UX curve, but once you understand the mechanics and how they're doing, you can start building stuff. Like, like this ship is not amazing, but I've taken it to space yeah. probably two, three dozen times, and I built it from scratch, like my own design. And that feels awesome. Just being able to do that without it crashing, without you know, having fuel issues or anything like that. Does it help if I weld too, or no? Uh, yeah, you can, but you have to go get ingredients. So oh. if you, with the welder out, if you right click, It'll say components added to build planner. And then if you okay. go back to the opening and you middle mouse click, it should say like all components were successfully withdrawn or, you know, couldn't withdraw this. And that'll let you come back and And then as long as you finish those items that you withdrew for, it automatically takes them off your build planner. Oh, it says unknown technology. You have to research it first. Oh, that's great. Weird. I'll put There's all the stuff back. There, there is a weird thing in this where there's that, but there's also like, there was, I think like the O2 H2 generator was locked because I hadn't built an interior wall panel yet. <laughs> and it was like, what? Like it's okay, I'm going to start for the moon. No, um, you're going to ride aboard this. Just catch up, you know? No. My suit no. energy is low. can I do to fix that? Um, sit in the chair, right? Yeah, if you just, if you sit in the chair or in the yeah, space, okay. the cockpit, it should help. I don't want to risk sitting in the cockpit. 
Okay, I think we're getting there. I believe we're almost done. I just gotta go double, double check around. I may have missed some thrusters. They also have may um, have missed some thrusters. the gyroscope, which helps a lot. The gyroscope basically just, if you build a wonky ship, it will still allow you to fly it because it's like correcting your actions. If that makes sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't call it cheating. It really is just a gyroscope, but it helps so much because you don't have to be perfectly balanced. You don't have to be like, you know, in Kerbal, like if you don't have the center of mass perfect, you're just screwed. Screwed. Yeah. Even though they have gyroscopes in that game, they do nothing pretty much. Okay. Wait, where did that other one go? Okay, all right, I think I only missed one. So the other thing is if you can, I gotta grab some ice. This thing on the front you haven't uh, done either. Which thing? Oh, oh yeah, that's just for decorative Energy though. Low. That's where my camera is mounted. Okay, so, and then you can set up control panels too. You can do what? Just grab the tanks. What about, oh no, not yet. Well, I'm not ready to go yet. I gotta, oh, okay. uh, you can also, so if you see, I just added a whole bunch of thrusters, mm -hmm. but instead of having to control them individually, like you create a command group, Isaac. Um, Isaac. So basically, this lets me. Let me put my eye on thrusters. Ow! Ow! Oh, my O2 is at 21%. Well, just. Um, the chair does nothing for you? Uh, let me see if your cockpit does it. Cockpit. Oh, my co your cockpit does it. Yeah. Oh, and it's, I think it's healing me, too. Oh, Will, you want to go, you want to, while I'm prepping, you want to go back down to Earth? Zach says, get in his ship, sit in the right passenger seat. How do I go back down to Earth? Just, um, if you look at the Earth, you see the John dot beacon. Yeah. On the Earth. Just fly to that. That's not true. That's going to yes. kill me. No, it's fine. Because, because your personal jetpack is so powerful, you're fine. And you have bottles with you. Not a joke. I don't believe you. Okay. But I'll do it anyway. Okay. Oops. I'll turn dampeners off, right? Uh, you want to turn them on when you get close to the surface. I would say yeah. probably within one to two kilometers. Otherwise, you're going to slam into the ground because you won't slow down in time. Slam it to the ground, because I won't slow down. Well, I got a lot of hydrogen up here. John Beacon's a good fake name. Okay. So I have my ion thrusters. Turn those off. You know what? I, I feel like I needed an extra battery. Oh, I was going to put a giant solar panel. These on. mountains are huge. They are. Yeah, they're pretty big. So he says, uh, sit, sit in the right passenger seat. Which ship is it? The big one. The yellow Hi, one? Hi, Jim Lathor. Thanks for the subscription. Oh, did we get a pop? Yeah. Sit in the... Okay, I'm going to give the... I'm going to take this for a test spin real quick. To sit. The yellow blue well, one. Chance, there's the a front right seat. Passengers. There's a front seat, and then there's like two openings in the roof behind it that are passenger seats. <laughs> <laughs> I think you found it. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that, Zank. That's a little Easter egg. Oh, no. Can I fly oh, this no. ship? What? Wait, sorry. 
What's wrong? Um, yeah, you can fly that. I was just having some issues. How do I fly? Um, good luck. Thanks. No, Discord. I feel like my bottom thrusters aren't flying. Oh, no. I don't... Wait, 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 wait. If you're going to fly, let me come down there and record it. You're not on camera right now. Uh, true. I don't even know how to take off. Just give me a second. I need to come. I think I broke something. Okay, stop flying. Oh, why to toggle power on and off? Okay, all right. I'm coming down. Connector's disabled. Yeah, that's just like that. That's like your dock. Okay, I'm coming down. Just don't don't do anything yet. We gotta get this on camera. Sorry, Zach. Does it have guns? Zach, you don't have hostiles on this server, right? I haven't I haven't run into any except for the wolves. I heard that wolves. when you when you get into orbit, sometimes you have people that harass you, or you can like run into their territory. Fake people? Uh, it's like enemy factions. This why does this say thing say fourteen years? It man, the gravity it's just weird. I think it's like fourteen years at that current energy depletion rate. That's crazy. But then if you start going it'll be even higher. Yeah, I don't know how to move. That's the problem. Okay. So that's there are enemy ships but few and far between. Oh, come on. Did you die? Yeah, this Did is... Did I just witness you hit the ground? Well, because... Oh, the, I saw it land! The last, like, two kilometers, the server just lagged, and it refused to... Um, it refused to slow me down while it was lagging. Even though I had dampeners oh, on. Ship's listing. So it basically was just like, no, we're not going to slow you down. We're just going to let you slam into the ground while we try and load things. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. You got to go. Your your connector is locked. So hit P. Okay. So this connector is enabled. Okay. Now hit P. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh, you got blue again. Okay. Now you go. Now hit the space bar. I feel like I should be the one flying this. You appear to be stuck. What's on, what does your toolbar say? Uh, it's off, off, off. Okay, well, probably just turn all those on. There you go. Now oh. your engines are on. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's going to end badly. How do I turn? Turning's awful. It's um, it's, it's like part mouse, mouse, part like Q and e. percent. Okay, let me hop in. Oh, I can use can other WASD. You know, actually, That's I don't. Helpful. I don't want to hop in. Why? I'm going to the moon. Woo! Okay, I'll let's see you there, Ian. How about you come near Alpha Base, but don't crash into it? Uh, think about it. Where's Alpha Base? Up there? Yeah, you should see yeah. beacons, right? Okay, but, but seriously, though, I, I'm not sure about that ship, but usually you can accelerate a lot faster than you can slow down. So I'm cooking. No, no, I'm seriously though, because it, you go too fast and then you try and slow down. You don't slow down fast enough, and you will slam into something. So don't crash into my base. That's what I'm saying. Why? It'd be funny. You're, this is the last time you're playing it. I mean, kind of. At least on stream. Yeah. What are we doing next week? We've got your Tuesday on Wednesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. So Tuesday, folks. We're starting something off for January. Uh, we were going to start it today, but we had a slight schedule push. We are going to be running stream pilots the entire month of January. So what is a stream pilot? A stream pilot is a new series like The Sandbox or Super Mario Maker 2 that we're not sure if we want to run the whole series. Uh, usually it's just kind of a mini series. But we want to run at least one episode, test it out, see what it's like. 
So our first pilot next Tuesday is Time to Die. Will, do you remember the description of this series? I do remember it. Do you want me to say it? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Um, You are going to play each Dark Souls game until you die. No. It is, I am going to play each Dark Souls game for an hour, fresh, having, I've only played the first game for about five or six hours total. So I'm very, very new to the series. Um, And basically I get an hour to play it from the start of the game. We see how far I get and how many times I die. Um, We're just doing Dark Souls 1 for now. And we're going to do, if this series works out and we expand it later and we come back to it, then we would do Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, I think it's Bloodborne and then Dark Souls. No, I think, isn't it Bloodborne then Dark Souls 3? Yeah. I think we're going to skip Demon Souls just because it, it's kind of hard to get it right. Especially uh, since I don't have a PS3. Oh, well, there's the PC version. Demon Souls is not on PC. Mm-hmm. It also doesn't run well on an emulator. I looked that up. Really? Uh, they said yeah. the first hour was perfect. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to be... I'm going to beat the game in an hour, though, so. I okay. could scroll back through this conversation and find a, hey, they said only the first hour works, and you saying, that's perfect. Um, let me let me build you a little connector real quick, okay? And we'll see if you can. Actually, you know what? Why don't you just park on the asteroid? Ooh. Ooh. So, so park over here. How do I Where do I that? Am. What's down? Uh, C. So if you do C, yes. do it slowly, you're... Okay, you're good. So now turn turn everything off. Well, start with the engines. Turn the engines off. Okay, They're that's off. good. And you are locked to the asteroid, so you're good. Okay, you can hop out now. You're just not connected to the base, but you at least have a lot of stuff. Uh, that asteroid did not load in for a second. Cool ship. Um, okay, so now Thursday, Will, what are we doing for Thursday? Thursday. Uh, <laughs> which one? Oh, uh, it's Server Quest Live. Thanks for the sub, Alex Cameron. So Thank what's you. the what's the reasoning behind this, Will? Server um, Quest the reasoning from- behind this is that I got. Ian and I got tired of editing things, so we were going to try doing it live. Yes. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. So we've got um, Fantasy Star Online, and you're saying, wait, Will, there's games between that and the previous one you played, and you'd be right. I just have not gotten to editing that video yet. That video will eventually come out. That was the Asheron's Call video, which is a tough edit because we played a lot of it because it was actually kind of fun. Um, oh, that reminds me, we're behind on scan lines. Yeah, we're going to mix things up. We're going to mix things up. We're going to start some new series. Um, I'm going to go ahead and announce it because nobody's watching, but scan lines is going to go on hiatus for a while. We're going to hit 50 episodes within the next month, and then we're going to go on hiatus because it's been a long road. It's been a great series, but like it's Will said, we, we want to have time to do more stuff. So, you know, we need more time. It's been a long time. Okay, sorry. I, I just got to uh, add a... Zach says those Atmos engines won't do anything in space. No, I, I know. It's called the flea because it goes from planet to Earth. I think you missed it. The Atmos engines get me to uh, Alpha Base. I don't even have to turn on hydrogen until I'm deep in space. But I don't want to get rid of them yet. So I'm putting on the ions as backup for the hydrogen. Do you think Zach's ship will go to the moon? We can try it. When we take yeah, off, I'll we can do it together. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll bring and, it. And then I'll just leave you stranded, basically. No, I'll fly over to you. <sighs> yeah, right. Okay, I added two there. I wish my gun still had ammo, because then I'd shoot you. Sure you would, Goober. Hey, I got a grinder. I could grind you to death. No, oh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm just trying to find a place to put these. Put ice in it, Will. Don't listen. Do to I have me. ice? 
No. I'll steal from Ian's base. No, I think we're at ice. There's an ice asteroid, I think, eight kilometers away. Eight kilometers? Zach, I have a bunch of hydrogen. Can I just put that in it? Not really, because you can't, you can't carry hydrogen. But I got all these hydrogen tanks. No, you have hydrogen bottles. Oh, brick. Okay, one, two, three. I'll just put another gooper up here. Okay, sorry, folks. I, this is, I just, uh, this wasn't quite as maneuverable as I wanted it to be. Uh, let me check that. How do I check that, Zachary? Oh, there's a bunch of ice in this ship. Okay, let's see. Um, so the first thing we need to do is... Oh, I need halfway, to Zach. 52. I need to fly to my ice destination to just fill up my inventory with ice in case I need it. Okay, I'm going to do that too. Are you doing that in a ship? Yes. So if you follow okay. me, let me fill up my tanks first. Okay. Safety tanks. Okay. And then I need to fix this because they're not all on my ion thrusters. Save. I'm gonna go to ion thrusters and I'll turn them all on off. I also, I don't think I have a lot of battery power. Come on. Okay, there we go. Toggle block. Okay, and then let me check what my inventory's at because I don't want to be carrying no crap that I don't need. Okay. I'm, I'm tempted to put a solar panel on my... So you know what, let me just make a um, an engine real quick. Oh no, of course I can't put that on there. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna carry the ingredients for this with me. Oh, they're already on. Let's do that. PG-13. Damn, it's PG-13. I know. I said the S word on stream the other day, but it was worth it. Shit, really? Wow. Watch your mouth, young man. That, that's also PG-13, isn't but it? But it's like one. I think it's one. I don't think so. Can we get a rolling on that, judges? Definitely one. Um, okay, give me a second. I'm just prepping because I'm, I'm like, I want to be prepared for the worst. Not that I'm necessarily going to come back and play this game again, but at the same time, I don't want to get as horribly stranded somewhere, if possible. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Already at 50 and 49. Oh, no. How do I know when to start slowing down? O2H2 generator, you're gonna come off. Okay. So if you follow me, we can go party. Are you ready? How come when I turn this thing off? go 
going on? You talking to me? Not me. Oh, it's because it shows me these H2O2 things are working, but it's not adding it anywhere. Okay, well, too bad. Fine, I'll just leave without you then. Did you just hit me? No, what are you talking about? All the way over here. Oh, guy, is that? You can't take off right now. You're like stuck. Yeah, what am I stuck on? Can you see? Um, I'm not you're just, like still connected. On your side? Yeah. Well, That's now connected. it's green. Now it's blue. Now what? you're good. It was red when you were trying to take off. That was weird. Okay, so let me orient myself. That's uranium. Is that the moon right there? One second. I got. I got to turn it on. I got. I'm gonna stop for ice first because I want to. I want to go stock up. Okay. It's only 9.52 kilometers away. Is that how fast you move? Uh, no, I'm just testing out my ion thrusters, which are all energy based. Oh, gotcha. So the cool thing is I'm, I'm like sipping energy right now. Like I'm using no hydrogen. I'm at 40%, 39. Okay, well, let me turn on my hydrogen and burn it. Oh, that's cool. Is that asteroid directly ahead your, your yes, water one? Yes, that has ice on it. Cool, I'm going to go there. That was real wonky, though, because, like, I've had that happen before where you're you're disconnected from the station, but it still thinks you're connected somehow. Um, no, I didn't put reactors on. Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going to just jet right past it. Yeah, that's what you got to worry about. My dampeners are on, too. What's well, because you can't slow down as fast as you can move forward. I oh, no, I thing. know that. But when I was testing it earlier, it seemed... But well, you're also in gravity, so. Oh, you're still down there. Oh, is that not it right there? It is. I blew past it. Oh, okay. Well, that was crazy. Okay. Come on on in. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so Zach says if the easiest way is because you have more thrust going forward than backwards. When you want to slow down, just flip around, like Zach says. So that you're, it's kind of like Kerbal, you know, you're doing a yeah retro burn. Man, I want to play Kerbal now. Kerbal's great. You said the words. Okay, where is the ice? Oh, I see it. There we go. Okay, so now um, I just want to fill up I'm going to fill up my inventory and the ship's inventory with this, which shouldn't take too long. Oh! This is eluding. Cool. Okay, here we go. Got it. I should be. I don't have any stone in here, do I? It's all ice. Okay. Perfect. Getting lots of stuff. Okay, are you getting ice? I got 6,000, but I got to put it in the generator, right? 
um, or the R2 H2. Yeah, well, you can oh, just throw just it in there. The generator. If I just put it in the it. cockpit. It'll do it. It'll steal it. Uh, I as I assume so. It depends on the ship, because the thing is, everything has to be connected as well. Like you can't just connect it to the ship, if that makes sense. Like it has to be connected to the conveyor network. Gotcha. But it's okay. I mean, worst case, you pull it out manually later. Oh, I grabbed it. Oh, yeah. oh, I had to turn the, I had to turn the ship on to do it. I mean, I had to say, hey there, ship. Okay. Oh no, I lost. So I lost let's the ISIS. see. Connector's good. Cargo, I got a little bit more. Okay, I think it's getting close to party time. Zach, I think oh, you're yeah, right. You're... I, I probably should have put a reactor on here. Is your ship uh, mine? No. Oh, are you just mine. going back and forth? Yeah. Well, I, only, I can only grab 6,000 at a time. Well, it's probably because you have a lot of uh, hydrogen models. Oh. That's, that's worth I put those it. In there, yeah. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to keep them on my person so I can bail if I need to. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm going to do one more trip and then good. Probably um, not, but just saying. Good. Then, yeah, I say we go to the moon. Okay. I got a little bit more room. Forgetting where I put my ship. Thank you, tooltip. I know my jetpack runs on hydrogen. I played this game how much? So much. Very little, clearly. Okay, and then I need to create a tooltip item real quick to do the. H2 generator, I'll throw that at 9, and I'll say toggle block on, off. On. Is it working? It is. Yeah, the ship's making hydrogen, but I'm just still at 13. Well, if you leave the engines on while you're just sitting there. No, they're not on. Okay, are you ready to go to the moon? Sure, but question. Yes. So I look, in my inventory, I see the hydrogen generators. They're yes. currently consuming mass. They're 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 eating the ice. But I don't see it going anywhere. If you go to the control panel and you go to the hydrogen tank, you should see. Once you've clicked it in the control panel in the bottom right, you'll see it filling up. Does that make sense? So you go to control panel, you search tank. Click the tank, and then in the bottom right, you'll see the filled either percentage or the leader going up. You good? Percentage with it. Control panel, search for tank, click on the yeah, hydrogen yeah, yeah. tank. I clicked right. on hydrogen tank to bottom, bottom right. Yeah. There's just a dot and then two dashes. No, no. Filled, colon, what does it say? 7.5%. And the leaders aren't going up. Yeah, it's not moving. Okay, well, what does it say at the bottom? Um, Power is, uses is, one kilowatt. The, the O2H2 is on. Uh, in the inventory, the stuff's moving. Okay, but in the, is the O2H2, is it on? Under uh, control panel. So. Under control Under panel. Will, this is Search O2 pissing H2. me off so much. We cannot spend Why is the third it episode. You off? We can't spend the third episode of Sandbox me verbally describing how to play the game to you. Why not? This is a bad stream. I know, nobody's watching. Okay, are you done? Yeah, sure. Okay. Alright, I'm going to the moon. Bye. Here, let me get in your ship. Nope. Please? Nope. All you gotta do is just turn the H2O2 generator on. Yeah, they're on. Oh my god, I'm so fat right now.
I gotta get up to speed. Uh, Zach says it's probably going straight to the engines if you have the engines on. Yeah, they're not. Okay. Well, good luck and Godspeed. Okay. Bye. I'm going to the moon. Okay. All right. I'm feeling pretty good. Um. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Basically, hydrogen with the ice and the H2O2 generator is my main plan. My backup plan is ion. And my third plan is to make an H2 engine to fuel the ion. Wow, I'm going so fast. I think I'm getting the gravity burn boost. Uh, did you figure out your problem yet? No, I'm just I'm just on Google now. So basically, if the H2O2 generator is on, if you can see it working on the ice, then the hydrogen has to be going somewhere. So just track down all your hydrogen or all your thrusters off. Um, what's the other thing? The tanks, see if the tanks are eating it. The other thing is your tank's not full. Is your tank on? I don't think you can turn a tank off. Reminds me, how's this going? I think I may make it to the moon. Oh yeah, look at this. This feels very good, doing it in a ship of my own design. This feels good. There's a lot of asteroids around. I think if this game had Kerbal orbital mechanics, it would be much worse. You would just be crashing all the time. Okay, let's see. Feeling good. my tiny ship and I made it fat. It's got so much crap on it now. Uh, I wish there was a way to, um, well, I guess that is it. Zach, the, um, the, the crosshair in the center of my ship orienter in the bottom right of my toolbar that is your current vector, right? I, th I think that's what that means. Oh yeah, feeling real good now. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna make it, folks. Still got 60% of my hydrogen. Oh, I can see. That looks like so much ice on the moon. I think all my engines stopped working. Did you run out of fuel? No, I still have six left. Did you turn all your engines off? No, I wish. But 
but none of my dampeners are working. Well, dampeners aren't an item. They're just auto-controlling your thrusters to take you I know that. Out. I just mean they're not firing. You probably out of fuel. Or unless you damage the ship and you ruin the conveyor system so none of them are getting hydrogen. Maybe. Who knows? I'm almost to the moon. Okay. Uh, Zach, IGSB beacon? Is that something to be scared of or no? Well, I have a gun. I could always go over and say hello. Oh, no physics. Come on, don't, don't screw me. Not terrible. Oh, this is weird. Not terrible. Not used to that gravity yet, but I, I think, I think I'm okay. I just lost my landing gear and I think a couple of thrusters on the bottom, but I'm gonna be okay. I'm on the moon. Let me dump this into the. All neutral, perfect. Okay. I think I'm accelerating towards the planet. Uh, yeah, it, the, the gravity will affect you. I just don't know what happened. I like started flying and then my ship just stopped. You probably ran out of fuel. It still says I have six. Six what percent? Yeah. Well, well, but that's the thing is you could have six percent, but it's just not doing anything. Do you have any? Since any all the engines are full. Yeah. Fifteen engines, years. Engines aren't full. They they feed from the tank. I'm about to crash into a mountain, so it doesn't really okay. matter. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm on the moon. You can come join me on the moon. You can definitely make it on those tanks. Sorry, Zach. Your ships. Very much not there anymore. Okay, that goes off. That was okay, a hard impact. That. I'll just let the. That's going. I had a semi-hard impact on the moon, but I think I'm okay. All Gross. Right. I'm gonna go check out. This beacon. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of hydrogen. All right. <gasps> Whoa, they got a whole base over here. It's also doing weird things because I'm. Um, they have a shield? There's shields in this game? Oh, Will, you gotta come check this out. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Here. Yo, they got a whole lounge. ATM. How do I get to you? Just uh, fly to the moon with your. Just make sure you have your bottles. Wow. 
This is neato. Wanted to go see if there's anything on of Zach's wreckage. Uh, it depends. If you crash hard enough, there's nothing. I can buy coffee uh, yeah, here. probably nothing. I hit pretty hard. This is pretty neato. Um, okay, I gotta find out where you are. I'm on the moon. In relation. I, I thank you. Yep, on the moon. But I, uh, see where the moon is currently. Okay, I think I'm going to try and go bring this ship over here. Is there an easy way to find it from Earth? Uh, yeah, if you just, but just go to the alpha base. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if there was an easier way. Because does that moon orbit or no? I'm trying to remember what they do. I think the planets are stationary and things orbit around, things move around them. So I think it's just gotcha. like the skybox with the sun that orbits, basically. Did you see that uh, snippet on how in Outer Wilds, everything moves opposite of you? Uh, yes. Which is just crazy. Okay, all right. I gotta grind this cougar up before I walk away from my crash. Cool. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, here we go. That was, that was very bad. Wow, that wasn't that hard to get to the moon. I thought it was gonna be much harder. I wasn't sure like how big it actually was. And so yeah. I was really worried that I was just gonna like get halfway there and run out of everything. But it really wasn't that bad. Give me two seconds. I want to see if there's anything, if there's any wreckage. Okay. Just having some trouble. Properly lining things up here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. just my craft is not like perfectly balanced so in some directions like I, I decided I hit down and my whole craft just plummeted and I couldn't really recover from it because of gravity cool I wonder what I get from here I guess nothing I don't see any wreckage yeah, if you if you hit too hard, then it will just crater. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. So if you just come to the moon, that's where I hit. Okay, on my way. And then can access the terminal. Don't need that. This game is pretty cool. I, it just sometimes it feels very barren. It definitely feels mm -hmm. like a, a sandbox, even in this single player. And a lot of the, the promotional stuff where they show like people ambushing each other, like giant fights, it just feels like that doesn't really happen. How big is the moon? Uh, I'm 
mean, I don't know. It's not as big as the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you compared could... to your alpha base. Do you mean the base or the moon? No, the... I mean, how big is the moon you're at compared to the your asteroid? Oh, much bigger, much bigger. Definitely much bigger. You can buy. Wow, you can just buy things. What's the armory? Oh. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. Are you on your way? Yeah. I don't know when to start slowing down, which is kind of an issue. Um... I mean... Because you... Okay. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I got it now. You're 50, 55, 45. You can see me now? Yeah, I can see the flea. Okay. Well, then, yeah. Just, I, I would say within... Probably two kilometers. At two kilometers, I would slow down and see where you're at. I almost hit just a rock in space. I need to check this, see what my... This hydrogen tank is going slow, slow, slow. But it's working. I can give you a ride back to the station. But I am going to... CLTR. There's a bunch of beacons around here. Come up here. The thing I don't really get about this game is modeling interiors. I just don't think it's it's useful. Hmm. I discovered Clang Trader. How far away do you think you are? That's 15 kilometers to that beacon you just put there. The and I'm I, 11 moon, to you. You can see Moon Station. Uh, I can see CLTR beacon. Uh, we'll head towards IGSB. IGSB. Okay, I see that. Man, this thing's cratered. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that like an oxygen field? I... No, it does not have oxygen. I think it's called a safe zone. Oh, uh, I can't shoot in here. Man, my ship looks bonkers now. Oh, it's so cool in here. I don't remember if I had any. Oh! Kitchen. Yeah, it's pretty Access. crazy. Place so cool. It's just weird because they have like a store in there, but some of the stuff they're selling is like useless. The only thing they had was there. There was one in here that had. It had like rovers for sale, which was pretty neato. Like you can buy a moon rover. There's a toilet. Got this I wish kitchen. I crashed my ship in here. Your cool. ship? Sorry, Zach's ship. Wow, look at this place. I think the two, the first two ships I built, I built them from a blueprint and I crashed both of them. The first one was my fault. The second one, like, I took off and it was just dirt slow. It was ridiculous. Okay. We ready to go back and end this? Oh, I'm staying here. This is my new home. Oh, but you can't do anything with it. It's my new home. Okay, well, I'm going to take the flea back to uh, Alpha Base because I think that's the other half of it. It's not just getting here. It's also getting back. You sure you don't want to join me? Oh, I'm already miles away. 
I bet I could beat you there anyway. Oh yeah, probably, but you're also not carrying a whole bunch of cargo. Okay, all right, let's take off. Oh, I found a red marker. Those enemies? I found another trade post. Oh, this place is cool. Okay, I think I have plenty yeah, for that. Too. like a space station. Whoa. Oh, there's like a docking port and everything. That's so cool. There's like... Oh, this is cool with these ion engines. They're slow, but... I'm at max throttle right now, and it tells me I have 44 minutes left. Wow. That's great. And then I don't... you put a reactor on your ship, and you're sipping uranium while you're charging your energy and rolling around. That's cool stuff. This place is neat. It's got a skull and crossbones on it. So there are different factions, but I honestly I don't think they do much. Bye, Moon. I'm gonna go towards that other planet. I'll never make it. Wow. Oh, there's a green planet way out there. There's you know, we may have to planet. visit this again. But I think if we visited this again, we should do the moon. And try to get from the yeah. moon to the planet. Because it, it does have a learning curve to it. It does have some frustrations. But once you start understanding the mechanics, like literally the system mechanics, then you can start building crazy stuff like the ice rig, even just this little ship, the complexities I have in it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I like it. All right, we're not ending yet. Don't get your hopes up. I gotta get back to home base. Oh boy, Will, should we talk about some of our other streams we've got coming up? Uh, if you want to. I don't remember the order, but let's just go back and forth. So one of the streams that I have is called Gaming for Nothing. And the premise is that with PlayStation Now, EA Access slash Origin Access, Xbox Games Pass, all these subscription game subscription services where you can pay a monthly fee, relatively small, and then download games to play them. We thought, why not have a roulette series where we spin the wheel, pull from any of the games on any of those systems or services, and then we try that game out for the episode. Do you think for the episode, or do you think we have two games queued up and we do it 30 minutes each? Um, I'm almost thinking 30 minutes each. Yeah, I like that idea. Or we do, we could do three 20 minutes each. Three, 20 minutes each. I'm just thinking because some of the games like Halo you could play for an hour and a half. But some of the games are like indie games and they may start dragging 10 minutes in. You know. That's true. So. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe we start it with two and see how that feels. So the idea is at the end of each episode of this series we'll spin the wheel and that will tell us the two or three games we're playing on the next episode. 
Um, but again, because this is stream pilot week, we're only going to be playing... Um, we're only just going to be doing one episode. Alright, so that's one of my ideas that I'll be hosting. Will, what's another stream idea that you have? That we'll uh, I have... Um, suffering for nothing. This is where we play a bad game and then vote if we want to keep playing it. That's that's also um, that's also a work in progress on that title. <laughs> yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I think that's the only one we have left where we're not sure what what the title is going to be. Yeah. Um, but examples of those could be I know Aliens, Colonial Marines. Um, mm -hmm. I think we we could talk through it a little bit here. I think the premise is that if both of us agree to stop playing, then we stop playing the game. But I think each yeah. of us has one veto for the entire series. So if I don't like it, I could say veto. That's my veto for the series, but we immediately stop playing. Oof. Okay. Um, okay, I have one. It's called The Graveyard. And it's where we play preferably multiplayer games that have just not worked out. And so they're kind of empty now. Hence the, the name Graveyard. Um, so, for example, games would be Brink. Uh, there's a couple old uh, Counter-Strike Source mods that I used to play. Um, I'm trying to think. What's another one? Oh, um, Battleborn. If we could find copies yeah. of that. It's still up, but I think it's almost impossible to get copies of it now. Um, we could play Battleborn. Games like that that are just not doing good, you know? Um, very what's another series that what's another idea that you've got will uh, I've got the sim pixels Oof, that's which good. I think you can kind of gather is uh, sims 4 um, I found a I think uh, what are they called like scenario thing like challenge and uh, I think we're gonna play through that with the f uh, I think I'm gonna make the four of us probably make Zach as well It'll be fun. Yeah, I think we just got to figure out. Crazy did we figure out a premise for that or no? Yeah, I have the the asylum pre premise where you mm -hmm. have to, like, get your sim to get make the other sims healthy or something. I don't know. I've barely ever played the sims. Uh, but the premise I found, I think, is pretty good. Um, So I have another one called. Well, we're not sure what to call it. Um, originally we called it at the table, but I don't think that works. I think we just call it tabletop RGB. It's the third iteration, the second iteration publicly of the game. And basically we play the, um, the Steam game tabletop simulator, which lets you play a bunch of board games and RPGs, um, multiplayer online. So we're going to be playing... Uh, probably just one, maybe two board games for that pilot episode. And if we think it works out well, then we'll pick up some more games for it, more board games, and just kind of, you know, maybe once a month or so, hop in there and play some multiplayer board games with Will and I and maybe Zach and maybe some other people as well. Yeah. I think that... Is that all of them? There's one more, but I haven't decided what it is yet, so... No, I, I don't think you have room yet because we pushed this... No, we pushed this, but also removed one. So we were down two. So there's the 30th still needs one. Oh, really? Or, yeah. I thought we... I thought we did two, but we didn't. Did you Did you check Airtable? Yeah, I'm oh, on it right now. And it's not on Airtable? It's because we were already down by one, then we got rid of Dwarf Fortress. So now we're down by two, pushed one week. No, no, but you see what I'm saying? We were down by one. No, we're down by two. Oh, we started down by two. Gotcha. No, 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 sorry. We started down by one. Yeah. And then yeah, we yeah. pushed up a week. So we were even. Then we got rid of Dwarf Fortress. Yeah. So. Okay. There's a couple choices. Yeah, we've got some ideas. I think I had some ideas as well, but I can't remember what they were. Because we had a yeah, long list. Yeah, still on the list. But some of them are just not not good ideas yeah the ones i mean we can go over it now if you want to no. there was uh actually i was thinking of doing what you play in which was we just have a guest on and ask what they're playing and then we play watch them play it i just think it's too complicated i think it'd be fun to have a different person 
Um, yeah. Yeah, we could have even like Jake or Kyle because they're not typically on. It's a good point. Yeah. The only, I mean, the Call of Duty one is more of your thing. Yeah, that would be where we play through all of the main... I say main, but there's still like 15 or 16 Call of Duty games. And yeah. each stream, we just play one of them. We play what people think is the best mission or two. So, for example, we were playing Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. We would play all gillied up and probably the C-130, the AC-130 mission. Yeah. That's not a bad idea now that I think about it. No, it's not the worst. Actually, you know what is the worst thing about that, though? Is that a lot of the Call of Duty games, especially on PC, are still not cheap. A lot of them are nope. still at least 40 to $60 through Steam. And it's like, that's too much. Way too much. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to turn this off before I end the stream here. Well, I did it. I'm back at the tank. I'm back at the... Uh, Yay! Ain't that crazy? I think that's pretty bonkers, oh, folks. Um, on these three episodes, we were supposed to have more episodes, but the holidays intervene. Um, Zach and I have built an incredible base here. We've expanded to an asteroid and to the moon now. Um, just incredible stuff going on. I've built... Um, you saw the welder slightly, but the cool thing about the welder is basically it lets you blueprint and build out an entire spaceship. And then instead of having to manually weld it, you just get in the welding ship and you kind of do gymnastics around it to, to rapidly weld it. Lots of cool stuff like that. Zach had his fantastic spaceship. I had my little flea, just the sturdy little grunt. Um, but folks, I, I think that I think that may do it for us both tonight and for space engineers in the sandbox sweet friends well just one question for you yeah if we decide to revisit space engineers would you actually play it probably not okay i can't be too mad at you about that because i pretty i did a pretty hard quit on terraria that's true um, you did as well as arc arc is not good arc is not a good game I, I would we, rather play Ark than this. Really? Yeah. But Ark is just... Ark feels punishing. I like Ark. This, this has a learning curve to it, but Ark is punishing. Um, hey, let's rank them real quick. All right, so we've got Sky Factory. We have... Number one. He, yeah, I would go number one. Uh, what's your number two? Ark. Really? Yeah. Wait, let me let me run through the full list real quick because I feel like I'm missing one. <laughs> it was Sky Factory. Then it was Ark. Then it was Terraria. Oh, Sky Factory, Terraria, Ark, and Space Engineers. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So number one, we both agreed is Sky Factory. Number mm -hmm. two, you're saying Ark, I'm saying Space Engineers. Number three, gotcha. what would you say number Terraria. three? Terraria. Definitely Terraria. So number four is definitely art. Space Engineers. Got it. What do you hate about this game so much? It's just not good. I just don't like anything. I just, ugh. This reminds me of uh, during, during the Giant Bomb uh, Game of the Year discussion. Don't worry, I'm not going to give away any spoilers to anybody who hasn't listened to it yet. But there's this part where Dan says it's bad. It's a real bad game. It's awful. And everybody else at the table, like, legitimately says, use your words, Dan. You're a reviewer. You're a professional. Why is it bad? And I feel like I'm applying that to you as well. Why is it bad? I, I just, I think the UI is terrible. I think, I just think everything's mm -hmm. not designed well. Yeah, I can, I can, I absolutely see that. I, I think... It's not so much a learning curve as it is a pu you have to push through that to get to the good stuff. And it took like me a I, while. I hit inventory and I have inventory control panel, production, info, factions, comms, GPS, and they, they all don't yeah. mean anything. And You start to see, like, I know why they have two panels because a lot of times you are dragging stuff between inventories. So you can set it up so that you're looking at one thing on the left and another thing on the right. But... I'm not saying they need to hide that, but that shouldn't be immediately in your face so that basic things become difficult to do. Yeah. Or difficult to learn to do. But other than that, folks, I think we're going to call it here. 
Um, Will, thank you for joining us. Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Um, and you can find me on Twitter at Fig Gibson, and you can find all of our Subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube channel. Um, Will, what's one video you can shout out and not the one video that we can't stop talking about? Uh, well, go watch Captain Bible. Funny. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I'm going to shout out... Shout shout out i'm gonna shout out all four of our holiday videos um i think we did some good stuff um what did you do for your holiday video i can't remember i did top five books i read in 2019 oh okay that's right yeah um and the, for the final thing i'm just gonna say will um when is the next door fortress video uh i'm working on one right now got it that sounds good. So I, think I, I think before the end of the month, right? Or something like that. Yeah, yeah it's I the twenty seventh, I think. Because people keep hopping in and asking about it, I think we got to give it to them. Um, yeah. But I just uh, posted on the the subreddit today. Mostly, I, it was mostly like a thank you to the Dwarf Fortress community, just because I had no, I didn't know where else to post it. Wait, where? What uh, subreddit? The Dwarf Fortress subreddit. Oh, wait. I just want to mock you real quick before we end this stream. What was this post about? It was, you went to the Door Fortress community and you said, hey, I just want to say thank you to you guys because I made a video about the game you guys like to talk about and I got real popular because of it. No, I said thank you for giving me great advice, um, people oh, who play God. Door Fortress, because it was really good. You're one of those people that like... Okay, I've, I've only gotten into Reddit in the past, like, six to nine months, and there's two things about Reddit that I hate. Well, there's a lot of things about Reddit that I hate. But the two main things, big one is the amount of content and karma farming that goes on, where people oh, will yeah. just repost stuff that has been posted before, or they go to Twitter, grab something, and post it there. Man, and then it they did just, not used to be like that. And then they just much. post it between subreddits, too. So, like, if you go to the the what is it, popular page or whatever, you'll see the same content four times because it's in four different subreddits. Um, yeah. The other thing is people who turn sub the Reddit into a hug box. So it just becomes a lot of vapid, empty posts about like, oh, thank you guys so much. Or, oh, can you guys just give me a lot of compliments? You know, or like, oh, look at this thing I made and it's not even that special. And then people that respond to that and upvote that being like, oh, cool that's great you have a new desk with a new monitor on it cool i guess and it's like no you shouldn't be rewarded for your mundane content yeah um that's my hot take no i agree what if we do a series stream series where it's just oh i came up with one of the ideas i know we want to end this but i feel like one of the ideas maybe we should revisit was where we have to come up each of us has a hot take or whoever the guests are, they have a hot take. They do like a five, 10 minute PowerPoint presentation on that hot take, whatever it is. And then they have to somewhat defend it from other people where it's kind of like the shark tank where people are like not deliberately poking holes, but they're like a thesis defense in a way. So for example, I could come up with a hot take that says like spicy food is not good. And you could come up with a hot take that i mean space engineers is a bad game that's not a good one it'd have to be hotter than that um that's not a bad idea i don't think that's a bad idea it's not a good idea i you just come up with a 10 minute powerpoint but you don't take it seriously so you're just putting a lot of stupid stuff in the powerpoint you present it and then the panel of one to three other people spends 10 minutes just like poking holes in it in a way or asking you questions <laughs> You know, I think yeah. we should try that. That's actually a good idea. That's like, um, you ever seen that Twitter thread about the person who keeps going to, she, they have a party, her and her friends have a party every year where you're supposed to give a 10 minute PowerPoint on whatever you want and mm -hmm. whoever gives the best one wins it. And I'm forgetting what some of the topics were. I think one of the topics was about how Sonic is secretly a Mormon. Oh yeah. I know what you're talking about now. It's just, that's hilarious. If we just did that as a stream and you're just presenting this really weird presentation and it's hilarious and everybody's laughing and then just like discussing it, that would be a good stream. I'd be okay with that. 
Okay, so on that very tepid note, I think it's time for us to end the stream. Will, thank you for joining us. Where can we find you? Uh, you can find my Twitter at Hunt270. I already said it. And you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. And you can find all of our subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube channel where you can subscribe and watch some of our fantastic videos. Will, if you had to pick one video for the audience to watch and enjoy right now, what would you pick? And you can't pick the one that we won't stop talking about. Why are you doing this? Why did you just repeat yourself? This is terrifying. Uh, we're going to have a stream next Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Will, when is the Half-Life 2 stream? Or Half-Life uh, It's next month at April 12th, 34th. I like how it, it's on the channel scheduled for, for what was it, Christmas? Or like... Yeah, I just did it to be funny because I didn't know when it was going to be. Oh, boy. Um, thanks, you guys, for watching. If you've enjoyed this content, please come back. 9 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday, okay. we're going to be playing Dark Souls 1. I can't say for the first time, but I only played it for eight hours and I was terrible at it. We're going to play the first hour of that game, have a timer going, and count the number of deaths. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye, Will. Bye. Bye-bye.